Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at this very nice Sylvania 250 watt probe start metal halide bulb. Now this particular bulb was bought at a restore in Longmont, Colorado for $5. So that was ridiculously cheap if I am allowed to say that. Anyways, I had this bulb for a very long time. I've had this bulb since early June of 2019. So I've had this bulb for nearly 15 months since it's nearly September of 2020. And let me tell you, this year has gone by so quick. But anyways... Let's not waste any more time, and we might as well look at the etch real quick, and the manufacturing date of this bulb. So we have it, we obviously have our company name right here, it's obviously a Sylvania. On the top, or on the bottom of the Sylvania name, is our nickname for this metal halide bulb made by Sylvania. It's a metal arc, which is a very interesting name. So credit to Sylvania for that. Here's our bulb description, M250 slash U. The U meaning universal burn position. I'll also be putting the burning position in the description below of this video as well, so you'll see that. Under it is our wattage right here. It's a 250 watt, obviously. On the bottom left is our letter R, mean that, meaning that this bulb will emit ultraviolet radiation if it punctures, breaks, or cracks, or shatters, or in any particular way that you can break this bulb. But I'm not going to break it because why? I shouldn't do that. So... Right on the bottom in the center is our ballast type. It's the M58, and it's recommended for enclosed fixtures since there isn't a shield around the R2. You can see it right there. And our mercury symbol on our far right. So, now that we're done with the construction, we'll look at the manufacturing date. This was manufactured on February 24th of 2016. So this bulb is well over four and a half years old. So that's not too old. It's still kind of young, if I'm allowed to say that. But anyways, now that we're done with the etch and the manufacturing date on the base, let's look at the construction real quick of this bulb. So let's first start off with our very nice brass base with a glass insulator. You can tell this is actually an older one because it has a brass base. Newer ones have hard aluminum bases with ceramic insulators. You can see a big pile of bulbs over there with aluminum bases with ceramic insulators. Some, are, some have black glass insulators like my Venture and GE metal halide bulbs that are 400 watt over there. So, here is our little bulb glue on the in the inside of the base right here. And that is to keep the base nice and sturdy while this bulb is being shipped. And right here is our stem right here. You can see the exhaust pipe right there. Here's our wires right here that connect to the arc tube. Here's our probe start resistor and our probe start circuit that um, ignite the lamp. And here's our little, um, sorry if, if the etch was in the way. This is a ceramic tube to prevent the lead wire from melting. And here's our dimple for extra support for the whole arc tube and the, possibly just for the whole bulb itself. So here's this little gadget right here that um, shortens this little circuit out so the our, our arc tube doesn't ignite. And you can actually see a little mercury ball in there in the arc tube. And that will be soon vaporized once I turn on this bulb. And also, as a fun fact, um, whenever the halide salts fog up or condense on the arc tube and make it less clear that you can see inside, the color temperature actually decreases on metal halide bulbs. So, for example, this is a very old Philips 250 watt that I have been testing for a month at least. And the arc tube is pretty foggy with all of halide salts around it. So once this bulb is actually at full brightness, it actually does 4000K on the arc stream, but once the halide salts like, you know, give off like an orangish glow, it, the color temperature decreases to around 27 to 2800K, which is pretty ridiculous. And that's a fun fact about metal halide arc tubes as, you know, the halide salts fog up the arc tube. Very interesting, if I'm allowed to say that. But let's get back to the Sylvania lamp real quick. So, anyways, I think that's that for the construction. We have our getter right here. I forgot about that. So, now that we're done with the construction, finally, after saying like that for like the second time, um, we might as well, I might as well give you some specifications about this bulb, and then I'll turn it on. So this particular Sylvania metal halide bulb here produces 20,000 lumens. It's very bright, if I'm allowed to say that. And the lifetime on this bulb is very bad. Get this, 7,500 hours. So that is like 10 months of operation, 24-7. If you actually operate it for like, you know, 12 hours 
a night, seven days a week, it'll last um, double the time. So that's like around 12,500 hours. So anyways, um, the color temperature of this bulb here is 4200K or cool white, and it's not dimmable. The color rendering index is 65, which is average for a quartz metal halide bulb. Ceramic metal halide bulbs have better color rendering. So, um, I believe that's that. Um, let me think if I have any more specifications about this bulb. And of course, the burning position is universal according to the etch on the bulb and judging by the arc tube itself with the two coatings of ceramic on both ends. So, anywho, um, I believe that's that. Let's go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. Hopefully there won't be any issues with the arc tube. And if there is, I will shut the bulb off. Or the fixture, I should say, because that's what's operating the bulb. It can't operate in a regular incandescent socket, because, you know, there's very bad hazardous things that, that can happen. And sometimes this bulb has delays when it starts, so I get a little impatient. Just don't don't hate me for this. I get a little impatient when pro start metal halide bulbs don't don't start quickly. So as a result, I'm using a plasma ball to start it and it's giving static electricity to the lamp because this bulb in here contains krypton, which is another gas. So anyways, I'm gonna shut off this light in the room here so we can get a better view of the lamp turning on. And of course, always wear safety, safety goggles or something like that, that so it doesn't blind you from the intense light because this bulb, you know, produces 20,000 lumens. So anyways, let's set the camera right here so we can get a good view of the whole bulb itself and the arc tube turning on and a little bit of the plasma ball. Actually, I'll get both in, I'll get both of these in the frame of this video. So the plasma ball is not gonna be on for long, it's just I'm just gonna turn it on, then shut it off with the buttons. So anyways, enough of me talking. Let's turn on this Sylvania metal halide lamp. Here we go. So the Sylvania metal halide bulb is now at full brightness, and let me tell you, it is bright in here. So as you can see, yep, I was right. The color temperature decreases if the halide salts are fogging up the arc tube. So it's 4200K in the arc stream, but it's actually like 3500K or neutral white right now. So anyways, you can see that this bulb lights up this room quite nicely in very nice neutral white, but I'm actually going to put cool white or 4200K in the description below of this video. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice Sylvania 250 watt probe start metal halide bulb turning on. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all very much for watching.